Inglesby Hall is a Grade II 17th century mansion built in 1613 for Sir Walter Chetwin, the then High Sheriff of Staffordshire. The hall was designed in the Jacobean architectural style characterised by its symmetrical facades, ornate detailing and mullion windows. Later, in 1717, his grandson, also named Walter, was created Viscount Chetwin. The daughter and heiress of the second Viscount married the Honourable John Talbot in 1748, and their son, John Chetwin Talbot, inherited the industry estate. The house was renovated in the early 19th century by architect John Nash for the second Earl Charles Chetwin Talbot. In 1856 the third Earl and third Viscount Industry Henry John Chetwin Talbot succeeded a distant cousin to become the 18th Earl of Shrewsbury. The hall was badly damaged by fire and largely rebuilt in 1882 using the designs of the Adelphi London based architect John Birch. It is probably no coincidence and most likely as a consequence of the fire that electricity was installed soon after in 1886. In the 20th century, Lord Shrewsbury became the chairman of the Clement Talbot Company, famed for establishing the name the Invincible Talbot, and produced a car that achieved the record for 100 miles in an hour at Brooklands on February 8, 1913. Ingestry Hall was the home of Sir John Lubbock, a composer and conductor. He organised many musical events and performances within the hall, contributing to its reputation as a cultural haven. During World War II, Industry Hall was used as a military hospital and after the war the hall faced a period of neglect and deterioration. However, efforts were made to restore and preserve the building's historical features in the years to follow. Many historic buildings, Industry Hall has its share of ghost stories and legends. It's rumoured to be haunted by the spirit of Mary Chetwin, a former resident who died tragically. Visitors and staff have reported various paranormal experiences and sightings over the years.
The industry estate of 1,100 acres was broken up in 1960 when sold off by the 21st Earl. The West Bromwich Borough Council, later to become part of the Samwell MBC, purchased the hall and 27 acres. The 1961 sale stipulated that the hall must be used for the purpose of promoting the arts and education and it now hosts the schools and youth groups for children between 7 and post 16 providing enrichment of education and life experiences for the young through the creative arts. <laughs>